Hi everybody, it's Sarah here. Today I wanted to do the Christmas tag made popular by Alfie Days, aka Pointless Blog. I don't know why I'm doing this head thing. But it's gonna have a little bit of a twist because I'm gonna make something called protein treats, but I'm gonna have it a little more festive and call it Christmas protein treats. These are the ingredients you will need if you want to make these with me. One cup of oatmeal, half cup of chocolate chips, a half cup of peanut butter, a fourth cup of chia seeds, one fourth cup of flax seeds, a third cup of honey, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And of course, a giant bowl, but we don't have giant mixing bowls, so I'm gonna use this humongous Tupperware. Let's begin. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of the dry ingredients in here first, and then mix in the wet ingredients, mix and roll it and then put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Let's start with the first question. Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. <sighs> Number two, what's the best present you've ever been given and why? I think the best present I've ever been given, because this is the first one that came to my mind, was when I was about seven. I asked my mom for what I called a boy Barbie, which AKA was the Ken doll. That was what I wanted for Christmas. I think I ended up getting two, so that was really awesome for the seven year old girl inside me. Number three, what's the worst present you've ever been given and, and why? I think another year my mom gave us socks and underpants, so that's probably the worst because for real. Number four, sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. What's my favorite Christmas song? So lift up your voice and sing out his praise. It's Christmas. This is Jesus Emmanuel here with us. Tell all the world. Okay, that's two lines. That's too much for you. That would charge extra. Wet ingredients. Here we go. Peanut butter inside. Like a tree, by the way? <laughs> Our mom decorated it. Question number five. What's your favorite Christmas film? Let's just be honest, who doesn't like Elf? I totally missed the peanut butter when I said that. Who doesn't like Elf? That is a good classic to stick with. Pet stick. But I think my favorite Christmas film would have to be anything Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown Christmas or, oh, it's Christmas time again, Charlie Brown. That's a good one. A lot of our family inside jokes come from that movie, so that has to be one of my favorite Christmas films. All I have is a dime. Do I get any change? So long, Peggy Jean. Number six, show how good you are at wrapping Christmas presents. No, my cheater way of doing Christmas presents is just sticking it in a bag. Oh no, I got flaxseed in the cup thing. No, we need every little bit. And that's fine. Number seven, if you could rename one of Father Christmas's reindeer, what would you name it? Oh, Father Christmas is Santa. I was like, who in the world is Father Christmas? Okay, I'm sorry. My sister just asked me, first of all, do you know all of Santa's reindeer names? Ah, uh, the Andy Williams song. I always think of the Andy Williams song whenever this question comes up, but I can never remember it. And then I skip songs. I need help. I can name the seven dwarves, but not, I should, I would rename all of Santa's reindeers after the seven, after the seven dwarves. Dasher and Dancer. Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, and Donner and Blitzen. And Rudolph! I would name it after the seven dwarves. My deceased. Wait, where's that from? What's that story? My movie references are terrible! Last question. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? I spent I spent a couple Christmases out in a different state, away from family. And it's strange, but it's pretty fun, pretty cool. You get to experience other people's Christmas is like that sounds weird like you're invading your traditions <laughs> is I'm not done with this mixing thing yet I want to show you the consistency of this thing look at it. it's weird I'm done with the questions and uh, I'm gonna move on to the actual baking slash cooking part so I will be back and when I do I will show you what else to do with this mess all right so I gave my right arm a little bit more of a workout and this is how it came out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our hands, my tiny hands, and stick them in there, make little circles, and put them in another circleware, and we're gonna stick it in the fridge for a minimum of 10 minutes. And it doesn't have to be refrigerated for a really long time, but I highly suggest you keep it refrigerated. So let's get to it. Here we go. First circle. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes! 
Boom! Boop. Keep going until it's all gone. I think it would make about 16 to 20 depending on the size of your little circles. Again, you can use whatever chocolate chips you want. It doesn't have to be chocolate chips. You can make it with banana chips or raisins. You know, whatever works for you if you're a raisin person and you don't ha like chocolate or have allergies. Actually, what would be really cool is if you did use banana chips and you took them and you rolled them up and you stuck them in the refrigerator and you dipped them back in chocolate, that would be awesome. So this is the fun part. And get off sticky and stuff. It's getting crowded in there. Tight elevator squeeze. Oh, come on guys, we can do it. Alright everybody, so stuff happened and people came in, but things got moved into the bedroom. Here are the little protein treats. It actually ended up being a little bit more like 20 minutes because I got distracted, but here they are. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this thing that no one likes and I'm gonna try it on camera. And into the mouth it goes. That was so good. You guys have to try these. Anyways, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below that you like these kinds of weird foodie kind of videos. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on all my social media links. They're all in the description box below. By the way, if you didn't catch it, all the ingredients to this recipe will be in the description below as well as the questions to the tag. Go spread some Christmas cheer. Yeah! But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!